Alright there guys, this is my uh, review of Chaos Terminators. So, um, these guys comes in box of fives. I think they're £35 from uh, Game Workshop, but uh, you probably find them cheaper online. Um, now, I really like this kit. I really like the detail in the models. Um, the one thing I will say, it's a shame you can um, equip all your guys with uh, chain axes. Now I've gone for um, all power fist on mine just because I, I sort of like that classic combination but I do feel that GW should have given you the options to equip everyone with a, ch a chain axe so that is their sort of uh, basic equipment. Now I'll just quickly go through some of the guys so you can see this chap so I've gone for um, a flamer power fist I really like the detail in these models. I think the detail is really good. Now, again, it doesn't give you enough power fists for the whole box set. So, luckily, I had some spare parts over from um, a Camus Lord uh, Terminator. So, I just used that, converted it, and they're quite easy to convert. Um, here's a the detail. There's that one. Just get the next one over. So, this one uh, I've gone for. Combi uh, Polter Power Fist. Just see the detail there. So it is a very good kit. Uh, it was fun to put together. Um, I do just have to clean up a few odds and ends. Just need to go over with a, uh, you know, just cutting some of the bits and, and going through the mold lines and whatnot. That takes me a little bit of time. So I think I like that one. I like his poses. Um, gone for the heavy flamer as well. So, um, yeah, I can see, see the detail there, hopefully, really really like the poses of these, um, they're, like I said, fairly easy to assemble, right, here's another, another flamer dude, sort of putting a, putting a bolt, a combi bolter out, ready to blast some Imperial scum, and um, here's my champion. So I gave him uh, a power maul and a combi bolter. And I gave him a power maul just because I think it looks cool. I really, ooh, I really like his his pose. Um, I think the kit's got really, really good detail. I love the detail on the kit. See the nice little skulls and you know. I like, I like the old Space Marine head. No, no, it's a really, really kit, really good fun. Now, as for the stats for the Chaos Terminator, uh, Chaos Terminator, sorry, I got my tongue tied then. Um, they hit on three plus. Their ballistic skills three. Their strength and toughness four. They got two wounds, and uh, a leadership is eight, I believe. And uh, they got a two plus uh, save. Now, I'm not sure if they're actually worth their points. The 10, 10 power, so here's the rules that you, you also get. Sorry, I should explain. So the 10 power points, and I enjoy them more. I'm not sure they're a competitive unit, but um, I enjoy them. I think Terminators are quite sort of fundamentally for Warhammer 40k. Um, I will quickly just go through the book as well. So it's all, all in colour. Now the one thing I don't like about these modern kits is it, it does sort of force you to, to do certain poses. Um, you know, certain certain models got to be in certain poses, but for these guys it's quite easy. So um, I just did a little bit of snipping and converting and just put on the arms that I wanted really. Um, like I said, the kit goes together well. And it's, it's always nice to have, have the instructions in in the book. As for these guys, like I said, they're not particularly good on the tabletop, but I just like I just like Terminators. Um, I'm gonna use mine for deep striking and hopefully, you know, bring bring the fire, bring the pain. But um, would I recommend them? I think I, I think I would recommend them. But they're just not a competitive uh, unit. They're just they're just more fun. 
Alright guys, so there's my sort of quick review of Chaos Terminators. Please like and subscribe to this video and see you later.